Okay guys, today we're doing some math. Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about something um, similar to the video last week. If you haven't watched our community property video last week, then you can um, watch it up there. Um, today we're going to be talking about associative property. When you can group add-ins in different ways and still get the same sum. It works in addition and multiplication. Just like commutative property. 2 plus 4 plus 3 is our equation. It's, it's pretty easy. So we're going to group the 2 and the 4 and the 3 is separate. 2 plus 4 equals 6 plus the 3 equals 9. So that's the first way, and we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you to show, show it to you in a different way. So we're grouping the four and the three this time, and the two is separate. The four and the three equals seven. Plus the two separately equals nine, and that's the other way. And see how it works for both. 15 plus 27 plus 30 is our next equation. And it's pretty tricky, but it's easy. 15 plus 27, we're going to group that together, and the 30 is separate. So the 42 plus the 30, 15 plus 27 gives us the 42, and the it equals 72. Here, I'm going to show you a different way so you understand more. And this one, we're grouping the 27 and the 30 and the 15 separate. It equals the 57 plus the 15 equals 72. And see here, it works for both. Let's do multiplication now. So 2 and the 3 are grouped and the 4 are separate. 2 times 3 is 6, and 4 is separate still. 6 times 4 is 24. I'll show you another way. 3 and the 4 are grouped, and times the 2, which is separate, and the 2 times 12 equals 24. It's the same answer in both. I hope you learned a lot about associative property and how it works. Um, and leave co some comments below. Well, if you want, you can leave as many as you want. And see you in the next video. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe.